Brothers, welcome back. We are still alive. We are still alive. Just working school, just beating the crap out of me, but uh, we get through it as we always do. So I've been asked multiple times, account overview, we haven't done one in forever. So here it goes. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. You got to just press record. All right, brother. So as you can see, I am just beating the absolute crap out of uh, out of some snakes. And there's a reason for that. And we're going to get into it. Essentially, we are maxing all the vials we can. And as an ES, it is, I mean, I just want to flash this up on the screen. It's actually, it's, it's kind of nuts, you know, just how fast you get these monster materials. We've already maxed two vials and, you know, I'm going to go world by world show you guys what we got going on but it's it's just so relaxing and enjoyable to watch this number just you know skyrocket so let us get to town let us deposit this stuff and you know let's just go step by step show what we got going on it's been a long time since we've done an account overview so there is there's a lot going on so first things first and you know it's going to be kind of a joint venture between Eidolon and IE or Eidolon efficiency just so you guys can see what the total account progress is. So every now and then while I'm going through stuff, I'm gonna flash up on IE what my total account progress is. That way it kind of ties the things together. So first up, we're gonna have the anvil. So here we are, we are at the anvil. So our total anvil speed is 30.7 mil. I've been seeing a lot of my guys in the Discord. They've been doing a phenomenal job of upgrading the anvil bubble, which I'm going to do. Uh, we'll get into the you know alchemy here in just a second, but uh, right now, kind of focusing on Larry at the moment. So, you know, we're doing pretty good. We have uh, what is that? 1.8 million as far as capacity on this guy. Speed's just over two, which is pretty good, I think, for a, uh, a mage class. So, not too beat up about it. Another thing we're doing, as you can see, since we're killing just so many mobs this isn't as good as if you did it on maestro or if you did it on dk but it's pretty good you know passive statue generation and i think we can look at no, we can't look at statues so unfortunate but as far as stamps there's a couple things i've been really paying attention to especially when it comes time to use my cost reduction so we have maxed that over in world three so every time we hit that 90 percent cost reduction we're coming in here and we're using that on the mason jar stamp and it's really starting to pay off as far as our storage info. So right now, just under a mil as far as materials, which is instrumental um, as we're kind of pushing. And you can see, <laughs> not too good down here, but uh, we're not too worried about that. That's just enough to be able to carry everything in the um, Coliseums because the most of the stuff that you know we're getting is mining because we're doing this every day chopping because he's the main chopper food obviously and then materials because he just gets so many materials so everything is going pretty good i think our stamp level is starting to actually skyrocket we're you know past 6205 and there's a couple of them that i'm really paying attention to and of note that is our mason jar stamp it's our multi-tool stamp and then for cooking, because we're trying to get as many ladles as we can, um, every time I get the opportunity to plus up my ladle stamp, that's what I'm doing. Because I would like to be able to get to base 1200. Um, and we'll discuss that when we get to World 4. But base 1200 for my uh, ladle generation. And that's without the snake. So that's going to take us a bit of work. So I think that is World 1. Let us get into World 2 because we got a lot going on here. So let's start off with something a little bit easier. Let's start off with our vials. And, you know, I'm pretty proud of this. Pretty proud of this. So we've maxed the copper vial. We maxed the oak log. We maxed the uh, green mushrooms. We are just over uh, a quarter of the way to the thread. Thread is obviously, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And I think that's really going to get sped up when we start to you know really lay into the anvil stamp or not the anvil stamp the anvil uh, bubble so that's coming we just maxed the dieter drink two days ago ish and we're already halfway to you know maxing the, the snake vial so 60 percent chance to get double points when depositing statues i believe it's going to be 70 percent if i'm not mistaken might be 65 percent I'm not sure. I haven't been really paying attention to how much it goes up every time you level. But we're just going to follow that progression on our ES. So we're going to go from snakes. We're going to go to globlins. Then we're going to go from globlins over to the horns. 
over to snakes. I'm sorry, not snakes, over to rats, and then from rats to mimics, mimics to the sheep. And then we're gonna come on down, and I think the next one would be mammoths. Then from mammoths to the pins, to the snowballs. And then I think we're just gonna come all the way down. Obviously, we're working on the rest of this stuff in the background. And then I don't think we hit another monster material until we're coming down to these guys. Um, it's, it's going pretty good. Um, really stocking up on hamsters. Would love to be able to make my maestro the new weapon. We already have enough hamsters. Uh, just need to focus on get the recipe. Obviously, <laughs> Ham Hamter Drippy is not going to be hitting level 13 anytime soon. But it is in the back of my mind at, le at least hit level 4. And I think that's you know something that's, that's definitely possible. And then... You know, big one right here. Would love to get two more levels in this. Um, but I, I'm really happy with the, where the vials are. That's been a goal that we've been talking about for a long time. And I think we're finally starting to, you know, see the fruits of our labors. So let's come into here. Um, let us pull up the alchemy here. So as we go through it, I'm, I'm happy with a lot of things. Um, I'm really happy that we're able to get our diamond chef to be, you know, the lowest. So hopefully when this stuff does proc, it's going to be procking and, you know, it's going to hit our diamond chef. It's going to hit our Mr. Massacre and it's, it's hitting the really key yellow bubbles that we want. And then obviously I'm just, <clears throat> I'm messing around up here and I'm just dumping as many, <laughs> as many points into, into the bubbles that I want. Um, as far as, you know, base stat, because it really, it really starts to pay dividends because even in a kind of farming, kind of have damage, but you're really going for drop rarity, you know, 71 billion isn't bad. And that's when you have, I think one damage star sign and then two carry capacity star signs. So 71 billion as a terrible player and, you know, not with, um, now with the min maxing, I think 71 bill is still pretty pretty decent. As far as obols and ES, I think is phenomenal for obols. And you know, thank God I'm starting this now. When lava made this quick function, otherwise I would have been going insane. We're 4,206 fragments, so we're really never gonna have to worry about about needing those. And I'm big fan, big fan of lava's lava's changes. We unfortunately. I've always tried to make sure uh, when it came to the pins that I kept it below 100 because once you go above 100, you really don't have the energy or the drive to, to want to spend them. So we messed up. We're unfortunately at over 920 pins and I can't tell you I'm ever going to spend those until Lava makes like a, you know, just a function where you hold it like this and you just, the pins just keep going, going, going. If he ever does that, absolutely. Just going to sling some pins downrange. Um, but not in the game yet, so <clears throat> I'm not going to do it. Now I think we're on to World 3, and this is definitely where I'm starting to struggle, and I think I'm falling behind a lot of people, because I see a lot of people with just disgusting build rates. Now granted, I could hop over to my Warrior, and if I'm on my, you know, Squire, I'm at like 9 million an hour. But I'm seeing guys push, you know, 100 million an hour. And you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to teach myself what I need to do to make that happen. But really, the only thing I'm focusing on as far as this stuff is getting Poisonic Elder up to 50, just because there's a couple key prayers that I need that are locked behind level 111 Waka Waka, I believe it is what it is. So that would be the Rucksack prayer, and then 120 at the Glublin, which would be the Zerg Rushagen. And at level 34, it's just, it's just not possible, unfortunately. So leveling this up, gonna try and get it to level 58. Obviously, the thing holding it back right now is the total build rate. And I'm honestly, I'm trying. You know, I'm, I think I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I would love some tips down in the comments. Obviously, everything pointing towards it is build rate, you know, build rate, build rate, build rate, build rate, more build rate. And then these are all build rates all the way across. And the best I can do is 4.31 mil. So if I'm missing something like just stupidly obvious, you know, please absolutely drop it down in the comments. Um, I want to bring you guys the absolute best content that I can. And not having Zerg Rushagen is just such a detriment to the account. 
So really need to get that up. Um, we did make some pretty, pretty good moves here. So if you did not know, Lava recently reduced the number of materials needed to level up certain things on the Salt Lick. So two key ones that were really a pain in the butt for a lot of people were the rats for the liquid rate and capacity for alchemy and then the penguins for the total damage dealt. And I can tell you, I was at level 25 before this came out. So we were at 2.5% total damage and we got essentially 15 and some change total damage from that. So big, big fan, big fan. And then just gonna toss in the death note because there are some people who are curious. So 12 billion as far as our green mushroom kills. And then you can kind of see where we're, you know, we're actively farming. Board beans, we had to go up to 264 uh, million uh, to be able to get that max vial. Baby boas we're working on. We're going to be having a huge Globlin kill, huge Giga Frog kill, and a huge Rat kill. And I'm actually kind of excited about the Giga Frogs because I've heard ES is phenomenal as far as getting uh, Pop Opals. I could probably get another two sets of full Pop Opals for everyone. And then here we are. The bane of our existence, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the, <laughs> the 3D printer. We'll be showing that in just a second. Um, the Atom Collider, bane of my existence. We've maxed the Hydrogen Stamp Decreaser, which you don't need to max it. I think it's at 18%. It's essentially maxed just because it's going to take the same amount of time to be able to hit the 90% cap. So if you get it to level 18 or whatever, yeah, 18 for the 18%, you're doing just fine. Don't need to waste your points. Lithium Bubble Insta Expander. This one is going to be huge, right? So no bubble, up, no bubble left behind has a 15% chance to level up the lowest bubble out of all bubbles, not just the first 15 of each color. Also 20% chance to get one additional level. Uh, we have come down. We have at least put a point into every single one of the atoms. Obviously, some are a lot more expensive than others. And the one I really want is the Helium Talent Power Stacker. Um, it's just, it's an insane amount of atoms, especially when we're burning uh, 1.43 thousand atoms uh, every single level up. And we get 26, I believe it is. I think we get 26 a day, don't we? Du -du -du -du. Yeah, we get 26 a day. So right now, the goal is to get Larry up to, I think it's 500 is where it becomes a 100% chance to upgrade it two times. Uh, we're gonna go to 101%. And the reason for that is it's a one, good benchmark, and two, if it's at a 101%, you have a 1% chance to let it uh, upgrade three times. So really wanna see that. I've never seen a plus three, so that's gonna be kind of fun. And then once we're done with that, I am going to absolutely balls to the wall, start leveling up my hammer hammer, and then really want to lay into the sampling skills. So the mining, the fishing, the bug catching, and the chopping. Just because I see some absolutely disgusting samples. 490 mil for copper. And then I come and look at my samples. And my samples are not 490 mil worthy. So we are at 109 mil. And if you don't know what this is. Essentially, the little swirl means that you are, one, in the lab, and two, you have the rabbit god, the hair, attached to it. So you're getting the double from the lab, and you're getting the three times from the, from the rabbit. So if we come into constructions, we look at the 3D printer. All right, sorry about that, brothers. If you see a cut there for a second, ran out of storage space mid-recording. So annoying, but we'll get through it. So cleared up some space. So essentially what I was talking about is, as you can see, my sample is 109 million. And then if we come into here, what that essentially turns into is 810 million. Um, as far as our copper, much lower. I'm having a much harder time with copper than I am with uh, the other materials. So 511 million as far as the copper, 305 million on this character just because he's exceptionally low and I'm just not able to, you know, get as big of a sample out of it as I want to. Obviously, Maestro, he's given us about, you know, 11 million. So that's one atom an hour out of him. So not huge. And then we're looking at uh, 750 mil 
863 mil and then 53 mil. So I can see people getting 400 raw, which would equate to almost, you know, two bill um, with theirs. So that's more than double what I'm getting right now. If you add everything I have, if you add everything I have right now together, it turns into 623 atoms an hour, if I did my math right, which I, I did it before I went on camera, so it should be, it should be right. Um, so it's good, but it's not great. And, you know, I don't want to show you guys good content. I want to show you guys great content. And to do that, well, you got to have better samples. Um, that was World 3, and now we're into something I'm exceptionally happy with. So this is my fully completed, we have been gone for a minute because in that uh, time I was gone, I was able to unlock every single pet. And now as you can see, we're starting to let all of the eggs hit maturity, um, whether that be dementia, plant, or void. And we're doing that so that we can get the absolutely disgusting levels. So the 70K plus, uh, probably gonna focus the most, most on the beach docks. There's a couple key spices and I'm still trying to you know teach myself what those are. So letting them sit for a second, uh, we're going to try and get beach docks up to about 10 million. And I've heard, you know, possibly get rid of the miasma and let there be two of the, I forget what those are called, two of the alchemics. I just, I don't know if that's better. So if you are just an absolute, just, you know, killer of men at uh, spices, absolutely drop me a comment. Say, hey, brother, do this instead. Much better. I'd 100% like to know. Obviously, the arena's done um, as far as upgrades. You know, we're well past that. We're working towards 70 now. We don't need that anymore because, well, we don't have any more pets. If Lava does bring out a World 5, then, you know, we'll, t we'll discuss it. Everything else, I'm just, I'm, I'm debating on what I should use it on. Um haven't really come to a decision yet um coming up to the kitchen we're at 2.5 q i believe is what this is where it's at if it's at 2527 trillion it's really at 2.5 q and i think that's matched when i go to my cooking because i think it said my total cooking speed is 11 q so i i think that's good <laughs> I'm not I'm not too sure um, but what I am working on just so you guys you know what I'm working on is getting the level 30 mils we are just under halfway uh, to level 30 mils all of my stuff and the reason why that's important because it may not just be inherently obvious is in the uh, atom collider right there near the bottom multiplies your cooking speed by I only have it level 2 because my atoms are very precious to me right now. I don't get a lot of them. Uh, cooking speed by 2% for every meal at level 30. It goes up by 1% per level. So next level would be 90% cooking speed. If it was level 4, it would be 120%. So it's a, it's, it's a pretty big gain. And then as we come up here, uh, we are just we're just plugging away. We're just trying our best. I think we're down to... I think it's accuracy with this cheesy bread so 29% total accuracy then we're gonna go down to wild boar and there's a couple that I'm really excited to get to level 30 obviously rice ball I need that skill efficiency um, bunt cake cash monsters is kind of important chocolate truffle couldn't care less because it's for new pet breeding odds we're done uh, leeks pretty good I need some more skilling prowess another eight levels would be nice uh, pet fighting damage actually can't ignore this one because that is so good for you when you're trying to get these, you know, 70k plus pets, right? And then Whip Coco, 80% skill efficiency, need it in my life. Onion, kind of at the point where damage, you know, it feels good to flex, right? Just flexing on people. But total damage, not really important. Kind of on the ES, you could say, to be able to push higher portals. But when you're one shot and everything, you know, even with Midas and all that other stuff on, not the most important, but I do want the total damage just to help some of the weaker characters. Soda, meal cooking speed, love it. And then some of these, you know, they're starting to become less and less important. Uh, bits in gaming, I do want that. And then I also want to get the other 90% bits gained in gaming from the saucy sausage. Um, so World 4, it's it's going. 
Um, I think there is still so much room for improvement. Um, you know, it's it's at that point where you have so much to do that you just don't want to do it because there's so much. Um, as far as sailing, we've obviously been done now for a while. I don't think I've made a video since I was done with sailing. Um, it's been at least a month now that we've been done with, uh, with sailing. So we've got all the bonuses and every single one of my guys is currently going down to the second to last island because I want to try and plus up my damage as much as humanly possible. So I think we're at 90% would bring this down to somewhere around 5 million. So you know, they're doing a pretty good job. We're getting, we're getting pretty good gains. Um, I am super proud to show you this, however, is if you look at my crew, and it's not the, the boat with 82.7 million speed, which I am super proud of that, but if we come down, we have one, two, actually, I think it'd be faster to show you the boats that aren't level 200. So we have one, two, three, four. We even got this one to 210, which I'm happy. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. So we have 13 out of the 20 boats at level 200 plus, and they're really starting to come along. I think we can, yeah, we can spare one more. So we're at six. So we were at six boats that aren't at level 200. And yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy about that. The rest of the boats are, you know, pretty close. Once I'm done getting that uh, alchemy bubble as high as I want it, I think it's going to be pretty quick to get the rest of them to 200, and then we can start pushing for 300. So pretty happy about that. And I think last but not least is I would love if I would have gotten a just disgusting nugget on camera for you guys. But now we're just going to get uh, a, a little boy, a little 1700 boy. Uh, turned off the, let me get this out of the way. Turned off Kitsune uh, just because I can really only check once a day between work and school. So I was having completely grown plants every single time I came back. But I was losing that three times, you know, multiplier of bits. So turn that off because when I usually do check, you know, the stuff's been fully grown for hours on end. So even here with all this stuff off, just because of how many bit multipliers we have. So we're at 22.9. That was 22.5.1 million some, just from some half grown plants. Um, another thing I really want to get into is how people have these disgusting bit multipliers. It just doesn't make sense to me. I saw someone the other day who had 67 trillion, I think is what they had, and I'm at 4.487 billion. So I don't know how the guy did it. He's just disgusting at the game. So if you're also disgusting at gaming and you don't mind you know, giving an old man some tips, I would love to hear it. Um, obviously all the gods are done. ES has completed, you know, World 5 as it stands. He's also my hamster hunter when I go to bed at night, which if you're not doing it, put your ES out there at hamsters overnight. You're not going to regret it. It's perfect. And then last but not least, I want to give a shout out to the Guild Band O Brothers. We're at uh, 103 out of 130 members, and, you know, we're just absolutely cruising through the levels. Something I was uh, debating on doing is possibly making another two guilds just because you know griffy did it and i love the man and if he thinks that's a good idea to have three guilds i want to have three guilds so i was gonna have the main guild which is bando brothers and i was debating on making you know two guilds uh one for the americas one for europe and then you know you could just have a group of brothers that are from your location um that way you know language bears not going to be an issue you can just you guys can talk however you want um, yeah, I think that, uh, I might do that and then I might expand to a fourth guild for Asia, but you know, we're talking months in the future, months in the future, brothers, but that's going to do it for me. I got to get back to work and then I got to get to school. So we got, uh, we got a lot going on, but, uh, just wanted to say it, uh, it's been great knowing you brothers. I look forward to the next video. Have a great one. Bye-bye.